you can use your FX570ES plus calculator to generate a random number. To do this, we use this uh, ran hashtag buttons. So let's see how to do this. Okay, let's switch on the calculator first and then just shift uh, random number. Okay, and then tap equal. Now, you should realize that answer is given in uh, fractions. Before this, we have learned that if we set to max input output, then all the answer will be given in fractions whenever it's possible. If you don't want your answer to be given in fractions, then you have to uh, change it to linear input output. So let's do this. Uh, shift setup and then so let's choose linear input output. Yeah? Linear input output. And let's try it again. Uh, shift random equal. So now the answer is given in decimal places. And then uh, the number given is uh, three digit numbers and it's in between one and 0 0.001. Okay, uh, let's try it a few more times. If you tap on this equal, then uh, it will give you another random numbers. Equal another one, equal another one, and equal another one. Okay, and let's say you would like to have a three digit numbers without this uh, decimal point. So what you need to do is uh, multiply this random number by 1000. Okay, let's say we would like to have a three digit number without decimal points. Eh? So use this uh, right arrow key eh, or right buttons to go to the input and then uh, multiply 1000 equal. So now uh, the random number generated is a three digit numbers without decimal points. Eh? Okay, let's try a few more. Uh, equal. 417 equal 954 uh, equal 508 okay so that's how we generate random number by using our uh, fx570 es plus calculator well just now we learned that uh, the random numbers generated is a three digit numbers uh, or number with three significant figures and uh, how about we would like to have a number with four digits or five digits or six digits or or two digits or one digits okay to do this we use another functions called the random integer okay the random integer functions and let's say we would like to uh, generate two numbers uh, two four digits numbers so what we need to do is uh, we go to or we input this uh, random integer so random integer you can see that is red in color therefore we use alpha buttons uh. so let's switch on the calculator first and then the so alpha uh, randoms, okay? So random integer. Now for random integer, you can see there's a small bracket here, okay? So we need to tell the calculator the range of the random number. Any four digit number is a number from 1000 to 9999. So we need to key in the number start from 1000 and then comma. Okay, shift, comma, and then to 9,999, and then close bracket, and equal. So we can see that the calculator gives us a four-digit number. So let's try it a few more times. Um, equal, so another random number. Okay, another random number, another numbers, another numbers, another numbers. Okay, so as long as you set the range and then then you just tap on these equal buttons, then the calculators will generate a random number for you, okay? Let's see another example. Let's say we would like to generate two random numbers, the first one with four digits and the second one with two digits. So how do we do this, okay? Uh, let's clear the screen first. So what we do is, um, again, we use this uh, random integer, so alpha uh, random, okay? So this is between 1000s and 9999, right? So we tap in 1000s and then uh, comma 9999, okay? And then uh, close brackets. So this is our first random numbers. And for the second random numbers, we need to separate it with these semicolons. So uh, we use alpha 
semicolons. Huh? Okay, now we set our second random numbers. Huh? Okay, so we use alpha random integer. Now for the second random numbers is in between 10 and 99, right? It's from 10 to 99. So, so 10 and then uh, shift comma 99 and then uh, close brackets. So let's tap on this equal buttons and see. Okay, so when we tap for the first time, the calculator gives us a four digits numbers. And when I click on the second time or a tap for the second time, it gives me a two digits numbers. Huh? So if I tap on it again, then it gives me a four digit numbers and a tap again, then it gives me a two digit numbers and a tap again, it gives me the four digit numbers and then and I tap one more time, it gives me a two digit numbers. Okay, so you see, um, you can tell the calculators uh, to generate random number with different digits alternately. Yeah? Four digits, two digits, four di two digits. Huh? Uh, so that's how it works. Huh? It can be useful for teachers to set up mathematical questions.